Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Topps Allen & Ginter Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Very big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action. If you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot, so congrats to you. Matt K with Last Spot Mojo Marlins, and he also won that non-sport spot as well. we got Sean Jaspi on camera too. He's going to help us out in the top camera. Help pack stack this break so it goes a little more quickly. And we got more Ginter in the store, folks, if you want to get that going. Keep one, and I'm going to give you the rest, Sean. So you can see all the boxes on the top camera right there. Thank you. There's a knife if you need one. Thank you. Well, let's handle this first box right here. That's what we're looking for right there. Autographs, rip cards, blah, 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 plates, book card. We haven't seen a book card yet. That'd be pretty cool. We've got those minis could be autographed as well. So a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, is it all on camera? You might want to pull back a little bit there. Ah, that's good. It's all on camera. Right there. All right, so there's the box loader right here. Let's get all the stacks out right here. Yeah, that, that's that, that, that would be that would be manageable. Yeah, because the minis make make it a little slippery. Can't stack the towers too high on there. All right, so let's let's hear a roll call. Who's here in this break? What are you looking for, if anything? You just want to join just because you like Ginter. A lot of quirky stuff in this Ginter. It's a lot of fun. Fossil, we could find what other weird stuff is in here. The presidential pins. Oh, I got we got one of those yesterday. Ooh. Uh, we got Obama yesterday. What? Yeah. That's super cool. We got we got one of his presidential pins, which is really cool. Are there actual gems in this rebel? Yes. Oh, David, what's going on? Okay, so that'd be pretty cool. Tyler's looking for a Nolan Arenado rip card. Are you gonna rip it or keep it, Tyler? What would you do? That's the big question. We got a rip card yesterday and the person was in the room. The person opted not to rip it in spite of a lot of peer pressure to rip it. Matt's looking for some Ichiro. Yeah, if all those fossils will go to you. The non-sport spot is the only spot where all cards ship. Everything else, no vet commons. A Devers rip card. Tyler would probably keep it, not rip it. All right. The Instagram stream seems to be a little more wild with that. They're they they've they've ripped all their rip cards. Well, except for the duel. <laughs> Jeremy Port on the car on the rip card itself, it says "rip it or keep it." It asks you the question. So they're giving you the option, which is why we have to ask too. There was a double rip card on Instagram. They they kept. Impact. Oh, and the double rip card was kept. Okay. It was, it was uh, I think it was Griffey and. They, it, Oh, the double rip cards I might not want to rip. Yeah. I don't know. All right. All right, so let's fly through these. We'll check the backs of those minis in a second. And look at that. Our first autograph is Tatis Jr. Five out of ten. Red ink autograph for the Padres, Nick Coba. What a start. Can you hand me another pack of 75s in there, please? I yeah. think I need like two for each case. There you go. It's a great way to start. Thank you. We have not seen a triple rip card yet. Aren't those box toppers? Yeah, it's only box toppers. Only box loaders have a triple rip? No, we have not. This does not feel like a triple rip card. <laughs> There's a Rizzo right there as well. David, you pulled a Bo Bichette rip card today, so what did you do? Did you did you rip it or keep it?
Jet's asking what's a double rip. Well, do you know what a rip card is? In Ginter? Keeping it, says Dave, on that Boba Shed. Oh, I see what you mean. No, I think I think it's the, a double rip is usually the front and back. So it's it'll be a little bit it'll be thicker. I see what you mean. No, it's not it's not a rip card inside a rip card. Although the triple no, I think the triple are still like three different pull tabs. Yeah, it's just one on top, two in the bottom. Yeah. There's the Safari Sites, the Leopard. And we've got a Ken Griffey Jr. relic piece of his lumber right there going to the Mariners. Matt Cash with that. Mariners edition. That's terrifying. Monsters under where monsters live under the bed on that one. Don't want that. They go in the dark. That's what I hear, yeah. I have not experimented with that, but apparently they do. The dog says, Woof, How are you on farm noises, Sean? Oh, I mean, I'm dumb enough to try to make any of them. Okay, okay. Well, you'll have an opportunity in the next one. Doesn't, doesn't mean I'm good. And we've got a Ramon Laureano, piece of his jersey, going to Matt Stubblefield and the A's. Caught that. The Ocean, Trevor Bauer, Lou Gehrig. Save a Gavin Lux there. I, I don't think I've seen a Luis Robert yet. That Lux has been hitting the ball pretty well. The Farmer says... Moo! Farmer would not say moo. That's wrong. Okay. That's a weird farmer. Would not want to encounter a farmer like that. All right. There's. Let's just double check the backs of these. Sometimes they're hand numbered if they're red on the back. No, no, none here. Okay, I got it. He says, where's my corn subsidy? Where's my corn? There you go. That's, there, what, that's what the farmer says. That's what the farmer says. Or get off my lawn. Right, right, right. Yeah. Or that'll do, pig. There's a Luis Robert box topper. Nice. That goes to Stephen K. You'll get these and all the other Luis Roberts that we happen to find. All right, so I'm assuming this is a yep. box. Okay, perfect. Good, good strategy there. So here's another box right here, ladies and gentlemen. And then we might as well just grab this box too. This one had a small box hopper right there. So each half stack right here represents a box. All right, good luck everybody. Next stack, the tractor. Well, the tractor says, okay, that's kind of a, good. It's a, it's a good tractor. May, may want to get the carburetor checked on that. All right, that's where it lives in the sewers. Where were the advertising card, Mike Tower? It's the uh, high gloss card. It's oh. Really box. Um, if you take it and 
register it. You, they have like some hidden code within the cards, I guess. Wow. Or if and you then follow. what do you get? I don't know. I, actually, they have exclusive things that you can win as far as like subsets and stuff. Hmm. Jackie Bradley Jr. for the Red Sox, David V. Yeah, that's what I heard too. I haven't tested it, but. How's your dog? Your dog says. Rough. Right, okay. That was rough. That was rough. <laughs> If we pull up Johnny Bananas auto, I might have to buy that off. Whoa. There you from, go. Loves that you heard, oh, there it is. The, these, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are glossy right here. Crack the code, and you get... So, so what? You, if you, follow, you have to follow the code master? Yeah. Well, there you go. Follow the code master, folks, if you crack the code. The rooster says... Woohoo! 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 I worry for your future children. It's like dad can't even make good rooster noises. Cock -a -doo -doo -doo. That's, I mean, that's the classic. The cock a doodle do, but you went woo hoo. Played out noise. Played woo hoo. Cock a doodle do's played out? I'm going with the, All right. the hipster version. All right, fair enough. I still fear for your children. I do too. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. The cornstalk says. That sounded like the tractor. Wind whistling through the sound, corn. Sounded like the tractor. Oh, and there it is. A rip card. 17 out of 75. You can see the number a little bit on the bottom right there. It's Roberto Alomar, Orioles edition. Josh Lucas with the Orioles will give you until the very end of this video, this recording, to either rip it or keep it. America's favorite game. Rip it or keep it. I love Adam with the 10 T's. Yeah. Rip it. Adam wants it ripped. Don't don't cave to peer pressure, Josh. You don't have to rip it if you don't want to. But you've got the rest of this break. Which you got, we've got about 45 minutes left to go. you got the rest of this break to think about it, to do your research, do whatever you want. If the mini is another team, it does go to you still. Correct. That's right. The mini could be a different player inside. If you choose to rip it, you'll still keep it, though. It's part of your card. Cal Ripken Jr. for Josh Lucas in the O's. Sorry, Giraffe. There's JT Real Muto back here as well. I've never heard a giraffe noise, but I feel like it sounds like a turkey. You think a giraffe sounds like a turkey? I would have said horse, but it's fine. All right, so nothing crazy there. Mike Tower wants the Where Monsters Live cards with an actual address on it for those monsters. No, they're, they're, they're witness protected by the federal government or by Monsters, Inc. You just follow, follow the money, folks. Follow Big Monster, Big Monsters, Inc., and then you'll see. You'll see the truth. Remember that guy with the the octopus legs? The guy with the oh, that's right. In Monsters, Inc.? The director. Right. Forgot. Right. If you turn the Monsters one sideways a little bit, you can see the gloss where it like, shines. Yeah, you can, see, you can see the, uh, creepy. Like the eyes from the cave and everything. Yeah, yeah. terrifying, folks. We don't want to see any of that. under the bed apparently there's like hands yeah like I know I don't want to see them I'm, I try not to dwell on those cards too much and somebody mentioned the other night those architecture ones the horse says nay alright better that was a good one uh, the architecture ones apparently they make one panorama one giant whoa panorama. Like in one of those box loaders? No, no, no. Like the, the, the oh, if you the put them all shape. together? Yeah, if you put them all together, you can put them... Welcome in to America's shape. Favorite Game. Rip it or keep it. Bob Gibson. This one is also to 75. 4 out of 75 for the Cardinals. That's going to be for Rick Thomas. Rick Thomas, you also have to the end of the break. Until the moment I press the stop recording button. 
to decide whether you want us to rip it live or if, or if you want to keep it. Careful of those mini cards, folks. I do not have a magnet handy, although I, sh I should have should have brought that in. So yeah, so you can see. That gloss right there is the glow-in-the-dark material. Some of them are just the eyes. There's our Luis Robert, or I think our first one. And Evan Longoria, piece of his lumber, going to the Giants. That'll be for Aaron Monzone. Terrifying dark tunnel. And a piece of uh, Trevor Story's lumber. That goes to the Rocks, Tyler Brenner. Ooh, sorry about that. Sorry, David Wright. And there's a booming city. Kampala. All right, let's take a look at the backs of these to see if any of them are numbered. No. Negative. That's all right. Box toppers. We got Walker Bueller dealing with like a little blister issue at the moment. And this box loader, or the oversized one, is going to be Jordan Alvarez. There he is. That goes to the Astros, Aaron, with the Jordan. Can these be autographed? I don't know, but I'm assuming so. I'm not sure either. They like to do weird, crooky things. Alright, so here's another box here. Another box here. Our second box loader for the next box. Alright, so two more boxes right here. Away we go. Good luck, everybody. We did hit a Paul Rudd autograph, though. Ooh. Look at that. That's strong. There you go. That's pretty cool. Matt Cash with the non-sport spot. And it's a full-size auto. Full-size Paul Rudd autograph. Not numbered, but, but pretty nice. Paul Rudd. What is, what is Paul Rudd up to these days? Now we know he's Ant-Man. Yeah, that's right. Peanuts. But he's he's got all he's he has to have a separate filmography on his Wikipedia page. All right, he was Josh and Clueless. That was one of his first roles. He was in The Shape of Things, Anchorman, of course. Love you, man. Yeah, Forty Year Old Virgin, Night at the Museum, Knocked Up, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I Love You, Man. He was in Wanderlust. 
He's been a lot of stuff. This is the end. He was himself. He was the voice of the prince in The Little Prince. He's Ant-Man. Right, a lot of Ant-Man stuff. He was a voice in Sausage Party, that animated one. Hmm. Yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff there. What's he got coming up? Ghostbusters Afterlife, which is in post-production. So, there you go. Yeah, he's done a lot of stuff. He's done a lot of work. A lot of TV, too. Nice Paul Rudd, Matt. Yeah, I think that's something I want to do someday, ladies and gentlemen. Just voice an animated character. That's got to be, like, it's got to be easy work. Not easy, but it's got to be easier than being, like, an actor. I don't want to be an actor. No one wants to be an actor. That's a hassle. What a hassle to be an actor. You got to go on set. You got to do this. You got to do that. You got to deal with other people. You know, that whole thing. But if you're just doing a voiceover for a character, man... Just go to a studio, hang out in a nice air-conditioned studio, and just do some takes, read stuff. Still, still goof around and have fun. Another Luis Robert. For Stephen K, who won that White Sox spot. I don't think so, Rex. Yeah, no, we have not seen any. We still have a ways to go. There is Chipper Jones. Mini, piece of his lumber in that mini card going to Matt Medlin and the Braves. Mark Rubin, you you I can't pull you a Park Avenue card. All the non-sport cards are going to be going to Matt Cash, who won that. Shinsu Chu for the Rangers. That's going to go to go to Rex. There you go, Rex. I don't think we saw any Angels yet, BD. Is it really $19 million for a two-bedroom? They must be big bedrooms, though, right? <laughs> I would imagine. $19 million for a loft with a bunk bed. Yeah, but it's like 5,000 square feet. Well, look at the uh, view. Yeah, well, the view, I, I mean, the view would be nice. All right, so no hand-numbered cards in the back here. And this is box two right here. And that is Sean helping uh, pack stack this break. Yeah, he needs your, your Halo mojo. I think it gets countered by Joe's hate for the Angels. I don't hate the Angels at all, actually. He says he doesn't, but he says negative. I don't, I, I don't even care the about the Angels. See, that's the kind of hate. No, but it's only to it's only because you keep bringing up your hate for the Dodgers. I don't understand. They're not even the same division or the same league for that matter. It just seems silly. You think there's a rivalry? There's not. No rivalry. Angels swept them last year. Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Mark with the Dodgers gets the Max Muncy jersey. The pig says. Oink, oink, oink. There you go. Classic, classic. I had to think about that one. Classic <laughs> oinks. I would not do well in Family Feud, apparently. Don't you have, like, a little nephew? I mean, don't don't you make farm, or like, don't you read books with him and pull, he's got that, he's got that one. pull the string on something? The noises and then it goes, the cow says. Yeah, watch it. All right. My hand's off, Uncle. Clearly, Rex. 
I don't know why, but clearly. All right, there is Justine Siegel, Jason's sister. She's not. Just made that up. There you go. A baseball coach. First female. For the non non sports spot. There is a booming city, Lagos. Sean, I guess Sean would wear this shirt. Not the hat, though. Well, he certainly, certainly hand, hangs his hat on that every time he's backed into a corner. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, okay. Hey, we got it on this side of the Millennium. I'll give you only one of the Millennium. There's Jorge Polanco. Yes, I, I, I want to say Placido Polanco for a second, but I don't think Placido Polanco would be in this set. You go Placido or Placido? Placido? Placido Polanco? I always go Placido. Actually, no, now you got me thinking. I don't know. I always go Placido. Uh, I think I've always gone Placido Polanco, but maybe Placido Polanco is correct. Placido sounds too much like Susudio. Maybe I was thinking of. What about, was it Placido, who was one of the three tenors? Domingo? Placido? Dom Placido? Mm. Jesus, now, now, now I've got Placebo Polanco? Yeah, now, now I don't know. Did, I did not see the Alan Ginter Mr. Rogers cut out a mistake that was tweeted out. Oh, it was it's a facsimile. But tops rectify. Oh, all right, one good for tops. Made it right. That's all that matters in the end. Even Joe makes errors right. every once in a while. Sometimes, guys. yeah. Nobody's perfect. It happens. Box loader, Jacob DeGrom, Metropolitans. Another box loader right here. Oh, so you're going to end up ripping it, BD. Well, that's good. Let us know if you get anything fun inside, anything cool. And there is the Yelich box loader right here. That goes to um, Quinn with the Brew Crew. Right, we've got a few boxes ready to go. Box one. Box two. Box That's all one here. Or box one, sorry. Box two. Are these two stacks? Box three right here are these two sticks. Christian Yelich High School was out here. It was. Same as Giancarlo Stanton's. Um, what's Taft? No. Notre Dame. No. That's where Hunter Green went. Um, Sherman Oaks? No, I don't think it was Sherman Oaks. Oaks Christian. Oaks Christian? Is it Oaks Christian? Is it Taft? I think it's Oaks Christian. I'm going with Oaks Christian, final answer. Yeah, I don't know. Westlake High. Dang Westlake. Oh. That's close to Taft. Damn it. BD, is that where that's where Stanton went? <coughs> so, right? Young Carlo and uh, the number one overall pick from like two, three years ago. I think Hunter Green went to Notre Dame. Stan went to Notre Dame. Okay. Stan went to Notre Dame. So the California baseball, what can you say? Stack, baby. 
A lot of guys went to Harvard Wesley. Yeah. Oaks Christian is the celebrity school. Where, like Will Smith's son went. All those kids. Crossroads. Santa Monica. Yeah, Gretzky. Gretzky's kids. Alright, sorry. I was a little lozenge for my throat here. We got a Roll Doll relic. It's David Doll. Roll Doll to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This goes to Tyler Brenner and the Rockies. There's the Addict again. A Dark Tunnel. There's Austin Riley, Graves, Matt Medlin. And then we've got Karachi, a booming city. There you go. 20 million. Wow. It's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, nice. Can I save that for the end? Sure. The scariest of the where monsters live is the one with the bed with the arms coming out. F that. That is definitely the scariest one. David, what's going on? Wow, a senior now. He's all grown up. He's all grown up. And well, now you can hang out here during the good times. I wish there was a Booming Cities card for Hermosa Beach. I don't know if there is. I know, right? We should have had, we should have been should have had this done last night. Just just fell just a tiny bit short. Eduardo Rodriguez for the Bow Sox. I mean for David. Bugging out the bumblebee. Yeah, that, that's Sean work, Rex. That's Sean work. When you've been breaking for for six years, Rex, I'm allowed a little uh, little leeway. I get Charlie work here. He gets Charlie work here. Push Ginter at the end of my shift, please. Guys, I don't want to do Charlie work anymore. <laughs> it's, called, it's called Charlie work. <laughs> That's Sean work. Let him do an hour and a half break on his own. <laughs> oh, that was two hours. I know. saw that. It shouldn't be that long. That's brutal. Oh, it was two. Did you do a recap at the end? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, that's fine then. I mean, it makes sense. My video is, what, 34 minutes already? And I've been ripping the whole time? I think with pack stacking, it's like an hour and 10, an hour 15. Yeah. Actually, an Allen and Ginter transcendent would be pretty cool. 
There's Sam Hilliard for Tyler Brenner and the Rocks. There you go, Tyler. That's right, Rex, because we have his family hostage. <laughs> Wait, are we talking about me? Yeah. I thought we weren't telling people that. Oh, right. They're being taken care of very well, but they're just held hostage. As long as I do it, I'm told. They're healthy. They're, they're having a good time. They only hit me where my shirt covers. Yeah. Long sleeve for the summer. Sewer drain. I guess sewer drains are kind of scary too. I always get scared of this, the metal grates and sidewalks. Yeah? You think you can fall through one of them? That or something's going to come up at me. Well, like the ones in New York just open up. Yeah. Those are cool. That, that's wacky. There is wheelchair motocross athlete Aaron Wheels Fotheringham. That guy is cool. Is he? He'll do like a double backflip on it. And it's wow. Wheelchair. That's pretty cool. There you go. That goes to the non sport spot, Matt Cash. That's right, Mike Tower. That's exactly what it is. It's like some sort of. It's like a. What's 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 that movie where saw. these? Is it Saw where they have to go through all these yeah. challenges? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Saw. There's terrible riddles at the end of each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a crazy riddle to even open the door. Joe loves Family Feud. This is his version. Yeah, it would be my version of a few dark, dark Family Feud. One hundred people were surveyed. Saw. That's a terrifying movie. Ken Griffey Jr., Bat Relic for the M's. I think that's your second one, Matt. Najibenya, Maramichi Mawa. Pink pajama penguin on the bottom. 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 I had never heard that before until you said it. And now, now, it you can't, now you can't unhear it. No. It actually fits perfectly. <laughs> As I insult an entire culture by messing up their language. Is it? But are those actual words? I'm almost certain that it is. Oh, okay. Isn't it not? I don't know. I I could have sworn it was. I don't think it's made up words. I started watching the live action one. The Lion King? Mm hmm. Have you I, seen I stopped at the part before Mufasa dies. Lane Thomas, because, you know, it's emotional. It gets dark after that. Yeah, it gets dark after that. And there goes the name. All right. Lane Thomas, Cardinals, Rick Thomas. Yes. Also get that Bob Gibson down there, too. I think I've seen Barry Bonds in some products here and there. I think the last time I saw him was in like a couple recent Panini Immaculate Baseball products. I feel like I've seen him in there, here and there, autographs and relics.
Sorry, Tim Anderson. Those minis. Kind of tough. The Bale of Hay says... Doesn't. Doesn't talk, you're right. Eat, no mouth. Eat me cows. Eat me cows. And horses. Horses eat hay, right? Sure. Hay is for horses. And the frame, Ronald Acuna Jr. That will be for Matt Medlin and the Braves. Does he? Does Bonds have his own license separate from the MLBPA? He might. Yeah, they, maybe he does have like an additional sticker. An additional authentication sticker. That's the scariest one, Mike Tower. Yeah, that's the scariest one. And there's Jorge Soler, Royals. That'll be for Josh Melton. Yep, these were the rip cards right here. Roberto Alomar Orioles and then Bob Gibson Cardinals, both to 75. Hippos. Pretty dangerous creatures, hippos. I think hippos kill more people every year than like a great white shark. box hoppers for the few boxes that we ripped open. We haven't seen any with an autograph on top yet, and we haven't seen any that are rip cards yet. There's Ronald Acuna Jr., Matt Medlin and the Braves. We've got Pete Alonzo, box loader. That goes to Nick Coba and the Mets. And we've got Mike Trout. Nice. Angels, that'll be for BD. That's the, if you want to save that for last. I will. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Do you need? Um, do you mind making uh, some extra shoe boxes? We'll probably need these we, for the... We have them. Oh. oh there, there's like nine of them back there. I put four on the... Awesome, thank you. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think we have any glass left for them. Gotcha. I'll have to work, do a little bit of work with that. All right, so here are three boxes right here. The fourth and final box we'll do last. That has the, uh, that's the hot box. All right, good luck everybody. Probably have another 20, 30 minutes left in this one. Thanks to Sean for the pack stacking. Helps us break move a little more quickly. Every, every minute counts. And behind Jeff McNeil is Aaron Judge. That'll be for the Bronx Bombers, Matt Medlin with the Yanks.
And look at that. Nice Luis Robert Mini. That's pretty cool. That goes to Stephen K and the White Sox. Nice. Not numbered, but still pretty cool. Love those minis. There's Tanaka right there and Boba Shett. And an Edinburgh Castle. Masahiro Tanaka will go to Matt Medlin and the Yankees. Alberto Mondesi. It's a Conseco Tampa Bay Rays edition. And there's Dubai. And we've got a Michael Talkman autograph. Mini auto, cool frame design. Matt Medlin and the Yankees. Yankees with some nice hits here. No, uh, well, no, in every break, we've seen at least a few, Rex, but I've seen none the, so far in this break, which is kind of odd. I always see at least one or two in each break, but none yet in this one. And there is Mike Doc Emmerich, a sports broadcaster. Not sure if I know Mike Emmerich. What what does he broadcast? Oh, that's why I don't know. Hockey. <laughs> gotcha. That makes sense. That goes that goes to uh, Matt. Not a sports spot. There's Michael Chavis for the Red Sox. That'll be for David. Bugging out with the Australian walking stick.
Here's another safari site. The safari truck, of course. Some sort of some sort of rover. And there is Andy Cohen. He does radio too. Going to the non sports spot, Matt. Hmm, I don't know, Rex. I don't, I don't think they traditionally do case hit autos. Could be different this year, but I don't think they traditionally do that. Oh, actually, that was the box, so it's not the best thing. So nothing hand numbered here. All right, next box. And there's D.D. Gregorius for the Phillies. That's going to go to Quinn. And the fighting Phils piece of his bat. Monarch Butterfly. And we got a Carlos Carrasco relic for the tribe. That's going to go to Jack B. Uh, no, I have not answered that question, Jack. But yes, all the mini ship minis are considered uh, considered inserts. So yes. this a printing plate a mini printing plate of catfish hunter nice part of the all uh, the all fish team along with Tim Salmon and Mike Trout and whatnot that'll be for Matt Stubblefield and the A's Matt all aboard the Big Head Express whoop whoop Nice, yeah, printing plates tend to be one-of-ones. Although I think there are metal minis that may not be one-of-ones. But printing plates are always one-of-ones. Cards are specifically made out of the metal. I'm not sure how they're, how they're doing it, numbers-wise. We've got Josh James, I think. Yeah, Josh James. Relic for the Strohs. That'll be for Aaron. Hmm. 
kind of strange that we haven't seen any of the hand numbered minis. Aaron Judge, Yankees. That'll be for Matt Medlin. The World Champions box loader right here. That is Ronald Acuna Jr. Braves, Matt Medlin. And this one up here. Yeah, I wonder if it does take the place. That's a tease. And there's Freddie Freeman, Braves. I think he's been hitting pretty well lately. That goes to Matt Medlin as well. All right, final box. It's the hot box, so obviously all of these little glossy cards will definitely ship. They will ship out to you. Yeah, I do like that that sort of glossy water, almost a watercolor design in, on the back, which is pretty neat. And we got Jesus Lazardo is um, your next mini autograph, your next hit for Matt Selfield and the Athletics. Bugging out the caterpillar, the hungry, hungry caterpillar. Popeye's ghost pepper wings, four ninety nine plus a biscuit. And there's Johnny Bananas Relic, reality show champion and host. I'm not sure what he's a host of, but oh, there he is. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Johnny is Bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Miguel Sano, Twins Relic for Jeremy Anderson. And there's the Safari truck again. Crucial to any Safari. There's 432 Park Ave. Someday, goals. And Freddie Peralta in the back right there. Unless I missed one, I don't think I, we've seen at least not even one hand numbered mini. Usually they're red on the back, they're red backs, but all minis will ship. You'll get one if I miss one. All right, let's see what's in that box loader. We'll give away some money and then we'll do a recap. 
Looks like we got Clayton. Clayton Kershaw. Box loader for the Dodgers. That'll be for Mark L. Won the Dodgers. And let's give away some money. I think this is the usual two teams drill. Uh, yeah, if you got at least two teams, then you got a chance at some of the break credit right there. So let's grab every, uh, let's alphabetize everybody's names by column A. And if you bought at least two, you'll get a shot. So Aaron bought at least two, that's one entry. Barry did not, Brett did not, Dave did not. Jack bought two, that's an entry. Josh Lucas bought two, that's an entry. Matt Cash ended up with three, but still one entry. Matt Medlin bought two, that's one entry. Stubblefield bought two, that's an entry. Gallucci bought two, that's an entry. Nick Koba bought two, that's an entry. Quinn bought two, that's an entry. Rick T did not, Rex did buy two, that's an entry. Stephen K won a spot and Tyler Brenner only got one spot. Okay, perfect. There you go. So that's a five out of the 10 spots are gonna get $50 of break credit each. That's pretty good odds. I think that's the lowest number I've seen thus far, 10. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Lucky seven times, six and a one, top five after seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Good luck. We got Rex, Josh, Matt, Aaron, and Michael Gallucci, Seal Curtain. $50 of break credit each going your way. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. That was Pick Your Team number four. Alan McGinter Baseball, Pick Your Team number four on a Friday the 18th. Appreciate everybody getting in. Here's a quick little recap right here, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Got a train whistle. That was Catfish Hunter. Got a Michael Talkman autograph. Nice Luis Robert mini. We've got the uh, the Lane Thomas autograph. A couple of Ken Griffey Juniors, fat relics. Sam Hilliard. Some more relics here. Got the nice Paul Rudd autograph. That was fun. There's another Ken Griffey. This Tatis was excellent. The 5 out of 10 red ink to tease. And we got the Bob Gibson rip card to 75. No word on ripping, so I guess not. We're just going to ship it to him unripped. And the Roberto Almar was our second rip card. That's Orioles edition right there. So a pretty fun break, ladies and gentlemen. We have more in the store. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll break more of that with you next time. Bye-bye.